Hello and welcome to the All Night Gamers podcast, episode 202. <laughs> hi, hello, hi. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the show. Um, how have we been dealing with the time change, boys? That's Badly, my but my terrible, bro. The same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be yeah, it it pretty chill, but apparently I'm the only one. So I think you are the only. Sleep one. through I the day. How does an hour change my whole, literally, whole schedule, bro? It's been I blame it more on work offers me ADOs, and then they give me no shift. Stop taking the ADO. Yes, stop taking the ADO. What? Well, watch, he's going to call me and ask, do I want an ADO for that next week? And I'm going to be like, I want an ADO. I want to have picked up these shifts. So true. Unfortunate brother. I mean, you don't have to take ADO. What? Okay, can I get clarification on what the ADO is? Improved day, day off. Can I also get that same clarification? Off, uh... They overstaffed us. So they were like, oh shit. We gotta do something about this. So one of my leaders was going around begging people to take an ADO. Man, be like Peter Parker in the original movie and be like, I, I miss the part where that's my problem or something like that. <laughs> Let them figure it out. That's crazy. Get fired sure off the spot. That'd be so funny. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, too. can we talk to you in the office, Al? <laughs> <laughs> I, um... Nah, just bitch slap him. <laughs> I feel like I need to be in bed right now. No, absolutely. That's how yeah. I've been dealing with it. I've, been, I've, I think I got in bed at like eight thirty last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's dude, not I been did. easy. Yeah, it's not been great. Cause legit, Kyle. Texted I don't know, me. man. I've actually been living for it. <laughs> I've been up at like nine every single morning. Been in bed at like eleven every single night. It's been great. I think you're the only one. Because legit, Kyle texted me this morning, seeing if I wanted to go down. Apparently. I didn't wake up till like 2, bro. I'm, I'm... Don't you, didn't you have school today? No. It's Veterans Day. No, neither of us had school. That's my, that's my bad. Veterans Day, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Cameron um, and I talked about this, and I still can't remember. Indeed. I wish I got Veterans Day off. I remember getting stupid holidays. Uh, not stupid holidays. I respect <laughs> respect your veterans. Respect your <laughs> veterans. But uh, by stupid, I mean like um, why? Yeah, why aren't we getting this off? Like yeah, like yeah, President's Day or like Martin Luther King Day. It sounds really bad to call those stupid. What I mean is like, <laughs> you know, just like small uh, holidays. Holidays, that holidays like, we wow. used to get off. How about that description? Holidays we used to get off, and now we just yeah. don't uh, anymore? Yeah. More like, wow, we have a day off today. That's cool. Days. Yeah, my yeah. holiday schedule kind of straight up anemic this year at work. Dang. Reinstate holidays. I'm so ready for Thanksgiving. I'm ready to take like nine days off of work. Dude, Thanksgiving better be nice. peak. Mm-hmm. I am working. Wait. Yeah, I am off from work for like a million days. Uh, okay. I'm working Thanksgiving, but I'm working in the morning, so I'll be good by the time dinner rolls around. That's what matters. Exactly. Yep. Um, Mario and Luigi Brothership is out now. I did check. I've been following the user score closely on this game because I was very concerned. Hmm. Um. And it does seem to be better than uh, People what I, the what they were yeah what they were saying. The user score is an eight point four, so it's not that much of a difference, but uh, it is better. I um, watched one person play part of the game, and they got very far ahead of Luigi and activated a cutscene. They had to wait for Luigi to catch up. Nice. Oops. I played a whopping kind of like five so minutes of it. Brother. Oh, that's right. You own it. Yeah, I booted it up. It was more like I uh, 
I played until I found the first save point in the game. And called it a night. <laughs> yeah, and then I went back to Stardew. <laughs> but now I'm not so scared to play it for fear of it being bad. Um, Super Nintendo World Japan had another direct yeah. today about Donkey Kong Country. Um, so there's a bunch so of nice. new stuff similar to the regular park, of course. There's little things hidden around everywhere. Um, there's Donkey Kong power bands that work with Kong letters, or you can use any power brand for those. Um, little mini games yeah. around. You have you can find all of the uh, Kong letters around. There's can, exclusive uh, merch. I can't imagine how like. What exclusive merch is there today about Donkey Kong that hasn't been done? I don't know. Even the cup. I don't know, but I want it. Uh, so <laughs> That's the spirit. The the cup <laughs> that they're doing, uh, I posted it in the chat, for the uh, area exclusive uh, whatever, food, drink, I don't, I can't tell. Um, ice cream. Uh, that very much looks like uh, and I, I only know this because uh, Cheap Ass Gamer just posted it. Uh, a 3DS uh, like game folder and stylus holder. Oh, yeah, that looks like a Donkey Kong barrel. Yeah. yeah. It, it looks like a Donkey Kong barrel with a, with a handle. I want that cup. Yeah, me too, That's but like, I'm not saying that it's an original concept here. It's not, but I, mean, I still want it. It's not original. <clears throat> I say it's not original, but I still want it. I mean, Donkey Kong's just a monkey. That's not really original either. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> He's so big, yeah, I'll, though, I'll, compared to Miyamoto. I'll take, the, uh, I'll take the random Donkey Kong merch for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not a huge... Hey. Uh, I'm not a huge Nintendo fan, but I do love Donkey Kong. Everybody loves good. Donkey Kong. It's kind of like Shaq. Everybody loves Shaq. Yeah. True. Shaq's great. Um, the Minecart Madness coaster that they did like unique. They built like a new system to do automated track jumps. Or at least well, give you the feeling of track jumps. The enemies trying to raid steal the, the temple are and from. Steal the golden banana. Yeah, are the what are they called? The little fan? They look like drums, and they're in Donkey Kong Country with them. the bongos. Yeah. Speaking of, there is a bongos uh, interactive game that you can play with three players, and uh, yes, we will be playing that when we go. Yeah. Yes. They said the Tiki are attacking the it. temple. I'll play it. Yeah, hell yeah. Sounds kind of dope to me. I was just kind of under the assumption that we were doing everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of my assumption. Yeah, kind of my assumption so. <laughs> I, I don't even think we're going to hit the other areas. I think we're just going to be so uh, distracted with Nintendo. Is Donkey Kong going to be at Orlando when it opens? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I did not realize <laughs> that. Okay. Yeah, no, it's uh, I had to find a photo of uh, the the Epic Universe map, but you've got. I'm trying to uh, find both. the display. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm trying to find. Um, you've got both side by side, exactly like how it would be in. Uh, Japan. I got it. I got it. I'm posting okay, it. Excellent. Excellent. If you uh, look yeah. off to the left hand side, you see that big area. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just a map. I'll, I'll see if I can find uh, a better photo. Well, my photo of the oh, the, the one with like the purple slides going around and shit. What looks like purple slides? Yeah, that is so so such such a far view. Um, I found one photo of the model, but it doesn't include the Nintendo area. Lame. Um. Oh wait, there's universe. That. Uh, it opens in a month, by the way. 
Yeah, it, it, uh, they're adding the expansion and opening it on December 11th, uh, which means I have a month to decide if I'm going to blow so much extra money on um, getting yeah, the Amiibo next We month all know the answer them. is yes. You don't even have to finish the statement. We all know statement. the answer is yes. Cameron, the gold Amiibo Mario band is not in their lineup. Yeah, but video. that's because it's a special band. They're not gonna. Yeah. And you want to wear it? it? Yeah. I'm gonna steal you. I'm a, I mean, not you, but no. I'm gonna steal you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't. All right, buddy. <laughs> ah, I found it. I found it. Wait, no, that's fucking encountered. Damn it. Uh. uh. Yes. Yeah. Um, dude, I'm I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. Like they they showed up a little uh, teaser of Minecart Madness, and it's gonna be so good. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Sega files patent infringement lawsuit against Memento Mori developer over in-game mechanics, seeking a billion yen in damages. How many dollars is yen? That's six and a half million dollars. Sounds about right. I doubt it's worth that much, but okay, Sega. Uh, lots of suing news this week. I've I've noticed. We love suing news. Uh, Yakuza creator Nagoshi says the era of game size being most important is coming to an end. Bro, is he it's using Internet Explorer? What do you mean? Is it? It's coming to an end, it's, bro. It's it's, never it's been ended. The most important. It ended a while no. ago. It ended when way. Call of Duty started making their own launcher. Somewhere around there. Yeah, I took the statement more as the Ubisoft ballooning open world thing, where our worlds are really just empty. Oh, like they're oh, like the in-game size. Yeah. Oh. But it might be. I mean, file size is related to that, I guess, because ballooning the world balloons the how much data. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Power World releases the patent numbers that Nintendo's suing them for. Uh, total of 10 million yen plus late payment damages to Nintendo and Pokemon Company. Filing an injunction. We're not going to talk about the patents here because uh, they're all 24 pages each and they're all in Japanese. So, um, yeah. I'm sure someone's translated them somewhere, but that's still happening. Uh, Nintendo is also suing a streamer for playing pre-released emulated Switch games. And also telling his viewers to go emulate them. No, I wrote it out on what he did. Uh... Let's see. Openly bragged about having multiple accounts to stream from. They emailed Nintendo directly about plans to continue doing so. Uh, emailed Nintendo about helping to find folks new versions of emulators. Seeking damages that could rack up millions. Sounds like he's just dumb. Yeah, I mean, really my only complaint is... Why are you telling Nintendo you're doing this? That's like, why are you he spreading your in, cheeks? He believes in the Reddit method. Go to court, say, uh, blame your honor, and then moonwalk out of the courtroom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so specific. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, uh, Say what you will about the guy. He's an idiot for 
telling Nintendo, like, hey, I'm going to do those things that you really don't like. No, literally. But. And then he expected them not to do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, yes. fuck around and find out, I guess. Say what you will about the emulation. I don't really care. Uh, but you are an idiot for. That's like telling the cops, hey, I'm going to go smoke crack in my garage. I've been smoking crack in my garage for like eight months now, and it's the best. And I'm going to go keep doing that. Okay, bye. Yeah. No, legit. Like, look. The argument doesn't really hold water for new games. So, like, playing them before they've even launched and then telling people, hey, you can also play these brand new games for free if you just do this. Like, what what, what are you expecting here? I don't... That's, that's, like that's the million game. dollar question. I don't know what he was expecting here. I'm not really sure what his point was, but... He's definitely not... Lots of new games before they come out. Well, um, the lesson here should be, if you're going to pirate games, don't talk about it. And you'll don't be that always the lesson, but they go on places like Twitter and be like, haha, Nintendo, I'm playing your game early. At XYZ Police Department, I love like, crack. Oh. <laughs> I'm, here's I'm a photo of me smoking crack. Here's a photo of the crack I'm about to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> there was a when Pikmin 4 came out right and they had posted the demo I remember uh, posting it early like the week it was going to re release right so that I would uh, just pick up from my demo and uh, save and move on and so I was like where did you get this I'm like the eShop <laughs> like don't don't be trying to bring Nintendo down on me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nintendo I'll, reports. I'll try to bring Nintendo down on you. Don't worry, Cameron. Please don't. Just wait until they find out you've been calling yourself a 100% amiibo collector when that's not biblically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nintendo's I'm reporting gonna... rapid growth for Metroid Xenoblade. Kirby and Pikmin. Wonderful news. Yeah, yeah, good, good. I didn't realize Kirby hadn't already had rapid growth, but I mean, I'm not going mean, to complain, they, I guess. They use Kirby so often, you know? Like, yeah, he gets the game all the time. How many, I mean, how many, like, basically mobile games did he get on the 3DS? Because I feel like it was a lot. I have no so idea. Kirby? Yeah. He had four? I think it's four. On the 3DS? 3DS? Oh. Wait, oh my no, yeah. way more. Yeah. I heard DS. I missed three. In DS, I know it's about four. 3DS, it's a, a lot more. Because it had Triple Deluxe, Planet Robobot, uh, Extra Epic, Battle Royale. It did a lot. Um... And I think everyone you just listed had amiibo functionality except for extra epic yarn. Yeah, that sounds right. Kirby Spider Deluxe, the DDD drum game. Um I have a Kirby coffee mug that I got from Epcot Japan. Yeah. I, Cause I was there with you at that time. Yeah. And that is like Basically, that's my favorite mug for sure. Mostly just because it's large. I like a large mug because I like a lot of coffee. Um, because I have a coffee problem. <laughs> I that's like the only I interact with Kirby literally like almost every day just because of that. So maybe that maybe I'm psyoping myself and I think Kirby's already popular. I don't I mean... know. I mean, it it's kind of like how uh, they never have to say Animal Crossing has you know exponentially grown 
because it's always kind of been like popular people just didn't realize it was popular yeah i mean until covid kind of blew that out of the water Mm. no legit um they say they would rather organically expand the organization than rely solely on acquisitions to maintain creative culture Mm. but it's not ruling out future acquisitions Microsoft, take notes. That's funny. I think if we were going to see Nintendo, they might buy their partners that are in their same building, but they don't actually own. Like I mean, Intelligent System yeah. and Tau. And it makes sense. I mean, Nintendo's the Apple of video games they like doing things Mm -hmm. very much their way in all cases and so that i mean that bleeds into their game development they want to do things themselves true true uh switch games will be playable on switch 2 including switch online content that was announced at the at the reportings briefing yeah. Good, very good. Ooh. Still kind of to... annoying, but mm-hmm. it's definitely better than the alternative. Now I'm seeing people uh, begging for confirmation that the physical games are going to work, and it's like, why wouldn't they? Yeah, if the digital games work. Yeah, they would. They would have to specify now. Nintendo would get burned at the stake if they came out and said this, and then later came out were like, actually, we just meant digital, digital games. <laughs> Yeah, some people think they won't include physical because they're like, oh, software. No, they're going to include physical. <laughs> well, I've heard a lot of speculation that the Switch 2 cartridges are going to be like 3DS methodology of like it will fit in a 3DS, but it won't fit in a DS. Like it'll fit in the Switch 2, but it won't fit in the Switch 1. But that way, Switch 1 cartridges still fit in the Switch 2. Ah, I can't wait for round two of I cut the little nub off and now it's fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) Was that before or after they sucked on it? I think it would be like a nub like I would say I I hope they still taste like shit. I hope they still taste like shit because I want to try them again. (laughs) You people are oh my god, dude, you're such an idiot. (laughs) <laughs> hey this thing has uh, specifically has a bad taste so that uh, people don't swallow it Kyle and I took that and, offensively uh, I mean it's not just Kyle it's a large proportion well, of the planet it is a yeah. large yeah I mean I never actually tried it so I don't think it's actually me <laughs> thank you very little <laughs> Uh, and lastly, Raging Domain is officially owned by Nintendo now, so they got their hands on it. Uh, okay, well, with that thrilling news out of the way, apparently, onto the Weekly Collector's Corner. Uh, the segment where you go around and talk about the games we've been playing, the games we've been buying, good decisions, bad decisions, mistakes, uh, triumphs, and anything else on on the planet. Spin the wheel. Who we got? Etc. Yeah. Not Cameron. Not Cameron. <laughs> Bro, Co- has Cooper been going first a bunch? Or is that just me? Yes. Yeah. Cooper, yeah. Cooper, yeah, Cooper, you're going again. Yes, a lot. <laughs> Let's go. Cooper's never taking you for that person stop the count dude this is fraudulent (laughs) wheels by (laughs) dude that's what I'm talking about anyway so um, I've been playing a little bit of Fortnite gross nothing too crazy but just a bit I already beat the battle pass so I guess that's fun uh, just a bit. 
Kyle, can you confirm that as our you Battle Pass expert? You just started it last week. <laughs> they made it really Jesus, fuck. Team. I can't confirm anything. <laughs> I know that he has played way too much fucking Fortnite. Just a little bit does not even begin to cover it. <laughs> yeah, what was it, like 70 no, hours? What, I literally haven't talked just a to little bit. I haven't talked to this man in seven. I was like, I haven't talked to this man in seven days, and in those seven days, he's put in like at least a hundred hours into Fortnite. Bruh. No, 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 no. It was really easy. It was really easy this season. It wasn't even. It was. It really wasn't that much. I doubt that it's easy enough to finish in a week. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're cooked. Okay. You you got you got that gin's uh. What Gen Alpha? You have the Gen Alpha amount of brain cells now. Oh no. I mean that was already the case, but that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I played a little bit of Phasmophobia with uh what did I play with? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the most to know? Yeah, this is oh, this is such a scam. Why does the wheel pick Cooper first? Scam. Uh, Cooper doesn't even know what he's what fucking he doing, dude. Did. This is this is so rigged. Hold on, he knows he, he played Fortnite. Cooper doesn't even know who he played with. Whenever one of the people is sitting in the call with him, what, you played? <laughs> yes, <laughs> this past twice. week. This past week. Yes, twice. With, wait, with twice. Me? Yes. With me? With what? I don't, I don't remember. I guess so, but I, it was, uh, um, I it definitely was did. It was Uncle and Bear. I don't remember playing with you, Kyle. Not me. Play, I like, played. You might well, have played. No, because I, I think the one. I think the one night that. I think the one night that we were both on. You fucking did homework instead of like hanging out with us at all. I had to get that homework done in my defense. Mhm. Hey, man, I had to get the homework well, done. Legit. You know, if you weren't busy all the time, like, it'd be fine. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a married uh, couple, for real. <laughs> Let's see. I, yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it definitely is a thing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a thing. Let's see. I play a little golf with your friends with Barrett and Alex. That was fun. Oh, we did play golf with your friends. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. That was fun. Alex cheated like always. Checks out. <laughs> what? That's a consistent issue. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, Game Shark. <laughs> yep. Smurf account. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What else have I been? Have I, really been, I, don't, I really have been playing like a lot, honestly. I've just been taking it kind of easy, you know. Like yeah, you haven't been grinding playing a lot Fortnite. You played all of Fortnite. Yeah, you played. Yeah. You played all yeah. of the Fortnite. There is no more Fortnite left to play. <laughs> yes, play all of it. finally, it's <laughs> dead. <laughs> the reason his, the reason his list is so short is because he only played one game the entire fucking week. No, no. I really didn't play that much, for real. Hey, bro, it's okay. I benched Stardew. We all have our vices. Legit. Mine's yeah. probably worse, but it's... No, bad. yeah, yours is a scumbag bad vice, <laughs> but it is, you know... We all have our vices. It is a vice, regardless. <laughs> I did buy this for my spare key, which is kind of cool. No, no. Dude, <laughs> like, I want it to be like, oh, that's cool, because I have a similar one. Uh, yeah. But then I just go back to the, the fact that you're driving an Avalon, and I crack up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just a... <laughs> like, it's cool if you drove, like, an 8.6 or something. Or, like, a... Also, the fact that he has the FJ Jeep Cruiser, or like a Supra or some shit like that. Oh yeah, a Supra. Hell, even a topped out Tacoma, I'll give it to you. Yeah, but an Avalon. Nah. Yeah, the Avalon, <laughs> exactly. 
That's crazy. No. Yeah, that's not the moment that you should be proud of and say exactly. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm, 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 as long as it makes you happy, bud. It does. That's it right. Does. There you that's go. Okay. All right. And anything yeah, else? That's about it. I played. I played a little bit of the game of the week right before the show. Literally like five seconds before. Yeah. We started. Yeah. I can't wait to hear that <laughs> opinion. Uh, spin the wheel. Who we got? Alex, you're up. Okay. I was gonna be really mad if it was Kyle because Kyle always goes after Cooper like every week. Not every I week. I have just played. Most weeks. To no one's surprise, I have played a lot of Yakuza Zero. Everyone is so shocked. Um, ain't no way. Yeah, ain't no way. Uh, I played a bit of Vampire Survivor just to try out the oh Castlevania map. I I don't have the map is sectioned off. I don't understand how to unlock the next section. Hmm. Um. I did the Astrobot level for the week, and we're coming up on the last one this week for the speedrun levels. Wait, um, did I send you the picture of the poster thing? You did, and I thought that was fire. Do you want it? Because I don't. Yes, please. Okay, it's yours then. Where'd you get it from? GameStop? Yeah, my... Um... One of my bosses went to GameStop with her husband over the weekend, and they were cleaning out a whole bunch of shit, and they saw the poster, and they were like, hey, that's pretty cool. My GameStop employee was like, yeah, you want it? And she was like, yeah, sure, I'll find someone who wants it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she was talking about how she got it. I was like, actually, I have a buddy of mine that fucking loves Astrobot. <laughs> I was wondering how you got it, but yes, I will take it. All right, but it's yours then. Whenever y'all come down or come up. We'll be then... there this weekend. Yeah, I know. This Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. but no, technically. Late Wednesday, probably into Thursday. Um... I play. We played Red Flags. We finally tried out the darker Red Flags deck. Mm. You can tell when it was written because there's a lot of ones that are like, "Ah, your date is Donald Trump." Mm. Mm. Damn. Things related to Trump. Yep. There's at least four of 70 cards directly related. Love that. Um, oh, Game of the Week. I put some actual time into that. But we'll cover that in a sec. True. And we went to Springs and we looked at all the Christmas trees. Yeah. I bought some shirts. Nice. On the Yeti. Um, and to Austin, no one's surprised since I think Grant brought it up last week that I have a data hoarding problem. I bought this because it was cheaper for me. I bought the Sega... Uh, Dreamcast collection because I already owned a bunch of the games there, so I finished out the ones I didn't. You know. Nice. Honestly, just pirate the games. So it's just cheaper. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong, but that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you actually need to legally buy Golden Axe Three. <laughs> 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 all right nice that's everything who's up next find up cameron all right so i have beat uh is attorney paul justice still destinies 
Uh, so it's Phoenix right. What? Is yeah. It's, it's in the movie. Apollo Justice trilogy. I don't. But read. it's Phoenix Wright Dual Destiny. I don't read, guys. I don't. I uh, can't read either. It's okay. You know, I so I beat. I beat Dual Destinies. Um. So now I am on Spirit of Justice. Uh, I. Uh, similar to Grant and Mario Luigi, I started Spirit of Justice. And the second that it got me out of the cutscene, I clicked save and closed it for the night. So love doing that. Dang. I said I really started this game. game through. I started this game. I I guess out. So did that. Uh, I'm playing a little bit more Zelda. Uh, trying to figure out the last one uh, so I can actually beat the game. I don't, I'm don't. i not completing this game. But I'll beat it. I need to. Wait. It's been out for over a year. Completing what? Tears of the Kingdom. I'm not I am not nearly insane enough to do that. Yeah. Uh, I played a very little bit of Fire Emblem Three Houses uh, so that I could get some footage for the Amiibo video. Because I wasn't satisfied with the quality uh, from the uh, from my YouTube video that I had to rip because I don't have the original file, so I just re-recorded it. So that fixed that. Uh, played uh, game of the week. I beat the game of the week. Um, I'm bad at the game of the week, but <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> wow, that was all of them. <laughs> But I wasn't gonna, you know, just do it and not, uh, not finish it. So I did that. Uh, we did the Christmas pre stroll. I got, you know, get to play around with the Magic Band stuff. Uh, they went like all out this year. It is so nice seeing so many physical effects going on. Um, and then, uh, like Alex mentioned, we played Red Flags. Uh, I won, but also somehow, even though there was only, somehow there was three of us, but we made it to, uh, we made it, you know, I guess eight rounds, but we don't, we only had 23 points, even though Alex was first, but Alex couldn't have won anyways, because, uh, Lewis and I were both at eight, and Alex was at seven. So Alex just uh, was a card czar for, uh, for the final round. Oh. oh, those darker red flags are really, really hard to beat, especially when there's only two dates to pick from. So, at least we're seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hi. Did you play Fortnite? No, why would I do that? <laughs> That's crazy. But no one but you hates themselves enough to play Fortnite. Uh, unfortunate. I don't um, even play Fortnite anymore. Don't you still have Fortnite okay. crew? Yes. I need to make sure I go <laughs> get rid of that. <laughs> but I do cancel that. But I do have it. <laughs> I'll double check what I did. Um, uh, I guess I didn't do as much as I thought I did. Um, but, you know. Uh, work. I, I worked. Work. Work is important because it convinces them I still need a job. Yep. All right, who's going last? Kyle's going last. It's me. Um, wow. Darn, brother. Surprise. Uh, Auburn basketball segment. We beat Houston. 2-0. Oh. 
That was huge. Houston Wait. was number four in the country. Was. Dang, that is huge. Now we're number yeah. five. They're doing well in boxing. Boxing? Boxing? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, that's not what... I don't think that's no. a collegiate sport. I watched a Matt Man, be cool if it video was? on SEC roll call for the week, and he Auburn's only in there for a little bit, but he's like, I'm going right. back to basketball and boxing. Hmm. Hmm. That's rough, buddy. That's right. I don't know if I was going to ask anybody to be. You. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we have boxing now. There might be wrestling. I honestly don't know. I don't think there is, but if there's any kind of fighting, it's definitely would be like wrestling. Um, But yeah, so that's huge. We're good, guys. I We won a big game. I haven't felt this in uh, eight months, to be precise. Our basketball team is good. Yeah. Although two of our freshmen did apparently beat the shit out of each other on the plane right after taking off, and they had to take an emergency yeah. landing and kick them off the plane. Uh, so no. that's not good. But we won without them. I mean, we beat, like, one of the top teams in the nation without them. So, I heard about that happening. Yeah, yeah that's a mess. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were going to lose after that. I was like, oh, we're cooked now. Okay, things are not okay behind the scenes, apparently. But we're all right. Um, and I didn't have to watch Auburn football this week. That was fantastic. I love the bye weeks. Because I don't have guys, to watch We didn't football. lose this week. Um, Huge. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I thought we already had a bye week recently. You get two bye weeks. Okay. Okay, but we didn't lose. We didn't play, but we didn't South lose. Car- South Carolina destroyed the... Conference's little darling. Hmm. Um, let's see. I have mostly been playing Stardew. Um, now that 1.6 is so on console. Shot. Yeah, I know. Um, I finally got an auto petter. I've been grinding for like three in-game years to try to get one of those. I finally have one. I need like three more now, but I still have one. Um, and to be fair, I haven't done a lot of like Skull Cavern mine runs, and that's where you get them from. So I've been doing those more now because I'm basically running out of things to do. I only have one recipe left to get from Clint. I need one more heart from him. But I befriended a whole bunch of people. I got all those other achievements. I've got like two artifacts left that won't spawn despite me playing this game for seven years. Um, but yeah, I'm getting closer. It's basically all just been that. A um, little bit of Mario 3D World randomly. Um, oh, did I mention I beat the Thousand Year Door? No. Yeah, I did. You were still working on it last week. I, yeah, I was like right before the final boss. I beat it like the following. Right, that's what we talked about because you mentioned Grodin. And Cam and I went, uh. hmm. Yeah, so that game is finished. At Um, long last. And then I was like, okay, time to start the next Mario RPG. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Perfect timing. And then I, yeah, I put it in, as I mentioned earlier, put it in until I could save and then I quit. (laughs) So (laughs) So I'll be getting back to that. No. It's generally crazy they released three Mario RPGs in one year. I know, right? Um, yeah, I really think that's about it. Uh, I played the game of the week a little bit. I thought about playing Xenoblade Chronicles. The cartridge did get into my Switch, but I never booted it up after I did that, so I didn't play it. But you made I, it pretty far though to get it. I get it. I got close. Yeah, I put it in the switch. It was there. Uh, it wasn't just the thought. You actually almost. Went. I mean, I've been telling myself I need to uh, get that three houses footage for like two months now. So like, you're doing better than I did. Uh, yeah, really, just working to try to, like. 
just make it to Thanksgiving week so I can have nine days off of work. Really looking forward to that. That's basically like I'm tunnel visioning towards that right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously you're going to. Well, no, you did an early Thanksgiving. Are you doing another Thanksgiving? Probably with uh, my dad. I don't know. I haven't really talked to anybody about it yet. You think we would have, given that we're yeah. like two weeks away <laughs> from the event, but no, I don't know a goddamn thing. I don't. I don't know what anybody's doing. <laughs> I gotta find out. Yeah. I gotta. I'll ask this week. Um, Just text in the group chat that your family has and be like, "We doing your Thanksgiving, guys?" Well, yeah, but that like, there's like seven group chats, and you gotta maintain them. You know, like there's one that's just like well that's just the siblings. Um and like parents are divorced, so you don't really have one group chat. You gotta it's it's a web. Oh. Yep. Um Yeah, yeah. I feel I've played so much Stardew. I think I don't know if I put another emphasis on that. Uh I think I'm up to two hundred and fifty hours on that save. Honestly, that's kind of how I feel about singular uh, Yakuza Zero this week. I don't think I put enough emphasis on that. Yeah, I'm, it's just like I'm finishing up the that. cabaret mini game, uh, some final part. I'm beating up the last few people I have to beat up for it, and then I'm done with that mini game that has drained so much time from me. Yeah, all right, Kyle, finish this out. All right, I have not done a whole lot. Honestly, I have played a, a silly game on VR that's basically like Avatar The Last Airbender, but VR version. It's pretty cool. Um, Luke had me download it, and so I was messing with that. Uh, and then I played Phasmophobia, both with and without Cooper, I do actually remember. Wh- I do know that we played one game at least Cooper together. Um, you sure? Yeah, because we we went to a Blood Moon mission. I know for a fact you were there. It was me, you, um, Barrett, and Cole. Did either we all finish the Blood Moon stuff? Hell no. Apparently, it's a like a community thing. Yeah, I mean it is community, but like I don't think they finished it yet. I don't think uh, they like fully did it. No, it's you, only like you know if they did. It's like sixty yeah. percent or eighty percent, something like that. It's close though. It's really yeah. close. Um, and that's about all. Uh, all the games that I've played, I've played. I mean, I did game of the week. Um, and oh, I yeah, did. You were. My bad. I told you, you. I you were walking around with then... the chain boots or whatever. I remember that because you're like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chain boots. What? Or there like was like, like this weird blood moon thing in the middle of the lobby, and I interacted with it because I didn't know what the fuck it was, and it immediately made me start sounding like I was fucking Jacob Marley from The Christmas Carol. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> anyway, unrelated. I've also been playing um, Pokemon Picross on the GBC, uh, and then... Um, I know I love Picross. It's been like, and I have a app on my phone that lets me play Picross too. But playing it and making Pokemon is just something special. So Mm -hmm. I've been doing that. Um, I'm actually playing that right now while we've been talking. Um, I played Game of the Week. I don't know if I mentioned that. I've been playing Earthbound. I've been playing Pokemon Emerald. Basically. I haven't been doing a whole lot on my computer. If I've been playing a game at all, it's been either on my phone or on my emulator or a couple things that I did on VR. The only thing I did on PC was Phasmophobia. So, pretty simple week, pretty quick week for me. Uh, and then, giant announcement, which I told you already. Cooper's birthday gift that I've been waiting for over a month to come in way after his birthday has gone and passed, finally fucking came in. So I got to get that to you either tomorrow or Wednesday. Huge. Probably Wednesday, because I'm working all night tomorrow. Damn. R.I.P. Uh, well, that's about it. I can show you if you would like to see it now, no. or you can wait until later. 
Always, always. Okay. Good thing you've already waited this long, way. right? I would say yeah. you, you've you already waited this long. You might as well. Exactly. Um. All right. I'm done. Well, on to the oh. game of the week. Oh, real quick. Before yeah. The game of the week. I also forgot to mention, I grinded out the music pass for Fortnite. Oh, my already. gosh. Nice. Disgusting. It's Snoop Dogg, bro. I had to. I mean, look, I love Snoop Dogg, but um, no, you did not. <laughs> it was easy, though. They made it a uh, Battle Pass XP this season. So, like, you only had to get, like, level 20 to get it done. Um. All right, so. Anyway, game of the week. Game of the week. Donkey Kong Country. It is about damn time. We talked about this game. How can you not can love I just this game? Say, can I just say how amazing it is that the week we decide to do Donkey Kong Country is the uh, week they announce their opening of Donkey Kong Country for Japan? Like, that is that is some timing right there. That yeah. is pretty sick, yeah. Do love that. Um. So, yeah, what can I say about Donkey Kong Country? What what can I say? Lots of things. But like how long do we want the show to go? Yeah. <laughs> um I was very scared as a kid of the opening intro cutscene of that game because when Cranky uh gets mad and throws a bomb uh <laughs> and Donkey Kong goes like, oh, and his eyes pop out of his head. That's freaked the hell out of me. I hated that. <laughs> Understandable. It's so funny, bro. I would always like spam the A button or start as soon as it turned on so Get I wouldn't see it. Here. I'd skip it before. Uh, also, the game over screen made me incredibly sad. Yeah. That's one of them screens that really makes you want to kill yourself. Wait, what happens in game over? Uh, it's just oh, no, a static up, right? 3D image of Donkey and Diddy Big Kong game. with bandages on Beat them. It. Yeah. And, like, beat up. And it just says game over. And it's got this really somber, like, clarinet music. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, I have seen it this just, image before. It, right? It's just unfortunate is what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's just, like, a shame. Oh, yeah. Um... I have been bumping the soundtrack with the Nintendo Music app uh, more yeah. than once this week. Yeah, because one's got them beat up, and then two, Diddy and Donkey, Dixie. Diddy and Dixie are sad. They're in prison, because there's like prison wall behind them, which was the one I was combining. Um, it's hard. We were talking about that. It is difficult. It is a very difficult game. Um, it's kind of. I really like the minecart level. It's, yeah, it's it's very fun. So emulation's interesting because there's certain jumps that I feel like if you don't back up far enough, you're just gonna keep messing. Up. Yeah, that is fair. True. And it's tricky I... with having to roll and stuff. So, I know, you know, they haven't announced it or anything, but I fear playing this game uh, in a uh, SNES Nintendo World Championship style because those jumps are going to be absolute bullshit uh, with the way that uh, Nintendo World Three Championship does words, their... Yeah. Yeah, because it, it still gives you that momentum. So you just get trapped in a loop, and I absolutely see that happening for this game. You know, I've played this game so many times that I don't even think it's really a challenge at all. Understandably. It's interesting to hear you guys all talk about, like, hard jumps and stuff. Because, like, I remember that when I was a kid, but I've I, like, banged my head against the wall so often with this game that I just kind of know it all now. Exactly. It's not skill, it it's memory. It's yeah, it's <laughs> but muscle memory. It's the experience. 
Oh, dude, that makes me excited for SNES World Championships. If they do that, I'd cook in this game. You're gonna, yeah. Dude, I'd, I would be so down for a SNES Championship, though. Like, I, I enjoyed the uh, NES Championship. So, like, they, they should do it. Agreed. No, it's fun. The, I don't know. Swimming without the fish is horrible. Uh, yeah, yeah I but... mean, the water levels are... They sure are water levels. Um, yeah, I went, this is bad. Yeah. And then they I got are, the fish yeah. and I was like, oh, no, this is fine. The water levels are a product of their time. I can't think of a single no, sure. water level that doesn't uh, suck. Feel painful, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no. Like, it rem- there's a Mario game where like it sucked until you get the frog suit, right? Like yes. water level. Yeah, it reminded yeah, me. Which of that. I mean, that's that's exactly what it's doing here. It sucks until uh, you get the buddy, and then it doesn't suck anymore. So. I mean, I don't really know. I I enjoyed the water levels, and I didn't really think it was like super difficult. I mean, I just think it's a common I... sentiment that most people don't like water levels, but they're in every well, game. Every game gets a water in level. Every game because it's but because nobody it's likes it. Easy. It is such an easy level theme, you know. I guess it depends. There's some water levels I will have no problem with but most are like poorly designed or not poorly designed it's just like they're they're slow I, like i said product of product of their time before everyone really was able to complain about water levels the only way to fix them was to go okay well we have the character we can only do so much with them but if we give you you know a power up or uh, you know, aid of some kind, then it doesn't suck as much. But with your base character, it's going to suck because you know the it's an it's an early game. There's no way to really fix it. But I mean, I I really enjoyed this, obviously because I beat it, but like. Ooh, I'm, I'm so bad at it though. Yeah, there's multiple levels where, really, you're just gonna have to die to figure it out. Um, I can see where people don't like that, or it gets frustrating. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's so. It's kind of like when we were playing uh, Apex and Splatoon together, right? Uh, around the same time together where it's like well this is short and it's painful you know when we're losing or it's long and it sucks to be losing Yeah. like DK's levels are not very long they're fairly easy to you know maybe not memorize but like learn enough that you're not going to just lose outright um, what do you mean check- the the gaps that are just slightly longer than your regular? If you don't roll or car wheel are annoying, and I hate them. Yeah, but you figured that out. Get though. good. Sounds like a skill issue, pilot. The thing is, you figured that out. So, like, that's ex- that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know. It just feels like you need. They really focused on the hidden animal. Well, they definitely do for the hundred uh, percent. Like, if you actually want a hundred percent in the game, then you have to find all the secrets. It's not a hundred percent. Well, I will say, after having just beaten DKC two, like before we did the show last week and then we played DKC one this week, um, getting the letters far easier in DKC one, because you don't have to rely as heavily on the 
teamwork things that you can do. Like you don't have any of like the team member yeah, throws like that you partner have partner abilities too. Yeah, the partner abilities are rough to get used to. For me anyway, they're annoying to get used to in DKC two. So I, I had a really easy time collecting pong letters. One, right? It doesn't count anything towards percent. It's just to get an extra. No, it's just the uh, yeah, it, level or uh, life up. It, bragging rights and one ups. Yeah. Uh, Frankie Kong uh, was like, "I beat this in an hour, and also 100 percent of the game. I found everything." And yeah, I, like, I remember. Yeah, yeah. The completionist doing that and getting nothing for it and like raging about it. Speaking of the completionist, bro, he fell off. Yes. I looked into that like last week because I was like, you know what? I haven't watched the completionist in like a year. Where is that dude? And I was like, oh yeah, he is a fraud. Yep. Man. Unfortunate. Dude, but when, uh, when we were initially doing uh, DKC2 last or for this week, and I started playing that, I'm like, oh, this is where he gets all his sound. Yeah, that's yeah it's unfortunate that, that he uses a lot of sound effects from rare games. Uh, the bonus room bonanza in DKC2 is like one of his staple mm-hmm. sound effects, and it just yep, doesn't sound like, right to me anymore. Like, ah. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. But yeah, fantastic game. Top five SNES game. I, I enjoy for it. Sure. Um, Definitely a good one. If you yeah. haven't played it, go play it. It's good. Yeah, I didn't play a lot of it, but it was actually really fun for what I did. And play. he's never gonna play any more of it either. I, w- I, I, no, I, 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 might, I might actually beat it. No, you aren't good enough. I to beat might it. actually beat it. I doubt it. I doubt it, Coop. Love you, not gonna happen. I gotta prove the naysayers wrong. Every, yeah, you gotta prove everybody wrong. That's I so do. true. You got a week. A week? Oh. Yeah, because. What do you mean he's got a week? I mean, because otherwise, you know, I finished it in a week. Cooper can finish it in a week. But what about Fortnite? <laughs> Didn't you, you just beat the battle pass? Bro, you were just. Itching to embarrass yourself today, aren't you? <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. On to the tidbits. Uh, 29 years later, a new DKC2 cheat code has been discovered. Uh, it allows you to access the overworld map from any level. During the pause screen, if you press right and Y and then left A, up B, down X as pairs. Yeah, there you go. 29, brand new cheat code dropped. Somebody make a new book. <laughs> There's just one page, and that's it on it. Uh, Warner Brothers admits multiverses underperformed, contributing to another $100 million hit to revenue in its games business. Do uh, companies wait. ever make money? It feels like we always just read the headlines about. Okay, but like, how did they lose money on that? They, they literally for sure. were put it post. They. I mean, Cooper paid a hundred dollars for that game when it was in beta. Yeah, because it was good in beta, and then they it was, took it, it away and released it, and it was absolute garbage. <laughs> the The actual release of Multiverses is atrociously bad and under like the underbalanced. Here's here's basically what it was. It was fine in beta, but there was like improvements they could have made, and instead of making the improvement. Uh, they made everything they had going for them worse. That's the best improvement. No, legit though. Like, and like in beta, it's like okay, there's a couple mistakes, you know, what not, but like it's understandable. Two well, because one of later they should have had it like. Because one of the things I remember discussing with Cooper because I was still home at that time was every level up to do the battle pass increased the XP by a hundred so when you were yeah. doing the higher level it would be like what did it, what did it start with a thousand or ten thousand but it would be like that plus 90 levels of a hundred 
Oh mm-hmm. dang! That's crazy. I hate that. Yeah. It, it was it was pretty crazy to try to level up. I told Cooper it should have just been a flat XP thing the whole way. You know, Fortnite Star Pass remains like probably the best I think out of all of them because it's just a flat rate. Ring ring I mean, ring says, ring. Battle Pass uh... expert. <laughs> Guys, I'm here. Splatoon is, also... <laughs> Splatoon is also a flat rate. That's true. But you also have to play Splatoon, so like, kind of mid. Yeah. Because when I'm playing Fortnite, but sure. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Fortnite. Splatoon or Fortnite, I honestly get more angry at Splatoon, so. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> I'll take Fortnite. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. If Splatoon wasn't just nothing but sweats, I'd probably enjoy it more. I, you know, actually, if that's like, never gonna happen. Yeah, you can't bot Splatoon, Splatoon unfortunately. <laughs> I do actually kind of agree that it is, especially do okay. So they had um, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, the ex- the extra uh work event this weekend. Overtime? To get a overtime that one to get gold you had to get like 280 eggs what in one run yep not happening that's crazy <laughs> that's actually <laughs> wild um let's see Warner Brothers CEO name checks Bateman Batman as part of its new video game focus, the company plans to double down on just four titles Hogwarts Legacy, Mortal Kombat, Game of Thrones, and DC Batman in particular. Okay. I swear, Warner Brothers is never going to make any money again. I mean, yeah, but like, we knew that. Uh, Daisy. Well, they want them. They'll make they're, Hogwarts they're Legacy a uh, live. They'll make the second one a live service game. So I hope people enjoyed the first one because I don't. Yeah, I hope Lo- Hogwarts Legacy Two is a live service battle royale with uh, crafting and stealth mechanics. <laughs> Dude, they straight up, they straight up said that it's going to be re- uh, related to the Harry Potter. Um, We've got that comment on here. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, I'll hold that then. I'll hold my thoughts on that then. Uh, let's see. Days after shutting down its AAA game studio filled with former God of War and Overwatch talent, Netflix announces a new initiative powered by AI. Disgusting. Mm. Uh, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. That's this Friday, right? Is it actually on, on Netflix? Yeah, I think it is. I've been seeing it. It's finally it time. They're actually going to do it. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Is I that thought the... they already did it. No. Mm, I don't think it, so. It was going to happen it... earlier, but it got delayed because of health concerns for Mike Tyson. Because they like... did um, Jake Paul fight then. I don't know. He I fights mean, someone, he, and he, yeah, he fights other people. Him and him and Logan both fight people. He like won, but it wasn't through knockout. It was through technicality. Oh, technical yeah. knockout. See, I believe so. Because all I remember is Matt Pat did a theory on it, and he was like, "Boom, I got it," because that's what he said the fight would go. Uh, I mean, who was that? What was that big Logan Paul fight? High One of them fought Logan. KSI. I know. I don't remember. That's like some... as for uh, the that's for all night boxers. That's a different podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, back to Netflix's new initiative. Powered by AI, AI. Who? I mean, what are they? What are they powering? What is this new initiative? 
They're trying to make our toasters come alive and eat all of us. Great. Finally. I need AI in my toaster. <laughs> this is the dystopia we live years. in. Give it a couple of years. Give it a couple of years. Indeed. Indeed. No, for real. I know your life isn't complete without hey, AI toaster. toaster. Can you toast me a toast? <laughs> now. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon trading card game Pocket is earning over three million dollars per day. Oh my that does god! Surprise me! I know so many people that have spent ridiculous money on that game. I am not one of them. I'm good boy, uh, and don't waste my money like that. But I have been playing the cards. absolute fuck out of it. Dude, there's physical cards. What do you mean people are burning money on it? I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I play the game so that I can get cards without having to pay money. But people are paying money to have virtual cards, and I don't really understand it. So, if you're people, gonna pay money, just go get cards. Well, yeah. So we, wait. So it's just Pokemon also, card NFT. This, it's a, this is a, it's no. Pokemon, no. It's Pokemon trading card game, Pocket Edition. So it's very similar to. Uh, it's a gotcha game. Card game. I mean, it is. It is a gacha game, but that's can, can, Pokemon can you, card pack opening. Can you play the Pokemon card game, or is it just pack? Yes. Opening? No, it's yes, both. Okay, okay. I was about to say because if it's just you, you game, open packs. NFTs, oh, like they couldn't. No, you like you open packs be able to and make then play money off of just having a card game with oh, no a, actual gameplay. You just have digital could. cards. Without fail, they could. This, However, this reminds me. Um, I actually did play something else. I played Magic for the first few. Ooh, ever that's Magic. crazy. What'd you think? Did um, you Commander? What'd you play? I played Standard. Um, I played. My buddies have like a bunch of decks. One of them is he's been playing since he was like seven. He's obsessed. He's got a bunch of Magic stuff. Um, so I've been playing with his using his decks one of them was like a solid black uh that was fun i've played yeah black decks are fun uh black blue black green white green i built a white green deck actually this past weekend mm -hmm. um with one of my buddy's cards he just has a ton of them um and i went to a card shop with him they have like a vending machine that's like 40 feet long like 50 feet long maybe like you walk down it and there's screens That's on either crazy. end and you order you buy something and then you'll watch like a gigantic arm come down and pick it up and deliver it to you That's it's fun. pretty crazy That's cool uh they no. i almost i almost dropped a bunch of money in there like buying cards and stuff but i didn't uh but the thing that really almost got me was they had a play mat that was uh samus Oh, so yeah, dude, there, there's some really cool play mats. My play mat is a uh, Elden Ring play mat. It's it. Ooh. Yeah, it's they so had cool. a lot of really cool ones. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I I kind of want to build a deck, but I don't need to be mm -hmm. spending a lot of money right now. That's the one yeah, thing that kept me from buying stuff at the store. I was like, I don't need to. I was like, I'm not gonna stand here and drop eighty dollars on a play mat and dice and sleeves and stuff. Like, no, I'm not. Kid, no. I'm not doing that right now. But, but I won't. If you do get a deck when we go to Epic Universe, we True. could all play. We could I mean, all play. But I'm we're gonna need uh, more than you know just Epic Universe. So much. Everyone's wanting to shell out like over a thousand dollars. For tickets to get multiple days. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that one. Not doing that. But. Yeah, I mean, I'd be down if I have one by then. Yeah. We'll see. Dude, I'd be so I, got, I got two and I'm working on a third. I know Cooper has one. So. Yeah. Dude, we should do Commander, though, because Commander's better. That's what I'm saying. We would probably, probably do Commander, which is why I, like, I'm talking about Commander decks. I have three, or I'm working on my third commander deck. I already have two. I, I like one. standard more, to be honest with you. What? Did you play commander yet? Yeah. yeah. Have you tried commander? Really? Okay. 
I don't I don't get that because I I love Commander so much more than than Standard. I really don't think there's much of a difference if I'm being truly honest. Isn't, I like isn't Standard. The, in the games I've played, isn't the I like main difference more. that uh, oh. Commander lets you uh, take someone out without having Man to, like. Yeah, uh, Commander, right you home. always have your Commander in your command zone accessible to you at any point during the game. Um, and your entire deck is going to be revolving around that one card. Plus, you have 100 cards, no repeats in a Commander deck. For Standard, you have 60 cards, and you can have up to four of each card in your in your deck. So those are like the main differences. Um But I don't, I don't know. I love Commander. Commander is just so much fun. To, and you have more life total in Commander, too. You can have 40 life instead of 20. It's great, dude. Big fan. No, legit. I feel like Commander works, probably works better for... Uh, when you have bigger groups. Yeah. yeah, when you have bigger groups, it's, it's definitely the, the better option. But you can still play standard with bigger groups too. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Survey finds twenty one percent of European games industry professionals were laid off in the last year. Dang. Damn. Dang. Don't like that. No. Europe's a big place, though. So true. I wonder what region exactly they were. Yeah, that's a good question. Or if it's just in general. If it's in general, that's not good. I guess twenty percent of Europe is a lot. Yeah, but like it's still twenty percent of Europe. That's like Yeah, that's abnormally high. Uh, Sony boss admits forcing PC gamers into PlayStation accounts can invite pushback, but they insist they have to keep games safe, which doesn't really track in single player. What happened? What do they mean, keep games safe? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Probably just. I don't know. General. I just put the headline here. Hey, I wrote like a, a bunch of it, and you skipped uh, like sections I wrote for insisting that it's in essential to ensure that anybody can enjoy games safely. What does that mean, though? See, it's still buzzwords, and you blaming me. In order to maintain order of the gaming, what? The live service, but for live service games, in order to maintain order of the gaming, okay, this makes. No sense. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Yeah, they just, they really don't say, do they? Uh, so that I think they mean that they want to do it this whole incursion of PC safely as in they don't want people to be too upset for too long at them at any one time so the releases and the games they bring have to be specific and planned because they realize that once people stop talking about it, the problem just kind of goes away. <laughs> like people still buy the game. So that's so true. That is true. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Astrobot sales top one and a half million. Yay, Astrobot. Good job. Yes. Let's go. Um, 
I literally put down my controller during that final level in that game, and I have not turned my PlayStation on since that moment. <laughs> I have not touched my PlayStation in over a month. I bet the game is still suspended. I mean, if you haven't lost power, yeah. Yeah, it's still in rest yeah, mode. Would be. I look at it like almost every day. I'm like, today's not the day. Realistically, <laughs> though, you should probably turn it on just to close the game and re click reset or restart. I mean, yeah, honestly, it's yeah. probably already auto updated in rest mode and rebooted anyway. Mm. Rest mode. I don't think there's been an update. Uh, what about all the uh, levels? Oh, there has been Astrobot updates. That's a good point. But they don't act, updates like that don't activate till you let them, till the game closes. Maybe like I'll just maybe I'll it, just but... never turn it on again, and we'll see if it explodes. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Was it? Oh, what happened? Good. I'll just buy another PlayStation. <laughs> now getting that thing onto a battery is going to be tricky, but we can figure something out. Um. Okay. Konami has revealed the voice actress behind Metal Gear Solid character Eva after keeping it a secret for 20 years, and it is in fact Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Jody That's Benson. crazy. Oh, there you go. Me too, for real. Me too. You're The Little I'm Mermaid? I'm also Ariel. Yeah, I'm, I'm Ariel from The Little Mermaid. You didn't know that? Um... No, I didn't, but I do know that if I was a pirate and I saw a mermaid and I went up to the mermaid and it was and it looked like you, I'd be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> I would be very, very ill. Damn. Nothing against you. I mean, like if if the mermaid looked like me, I'd be just as upset. Uh, oh gosh, that's great. Uh Marvel Marvel Spider-Man 2 Fly and Fresh Suit Pack now free on PlayStation. This is an ugly suit set that they released for uh, charity. Mm. Alex has opinions on what they released for charity. Have you seen them? Uh, I yeah, think I deserve an opinion because I spent so the $5 again. for the charity. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I didn't get I it free. I spent the five dollars. I remember these, and I remember you being upset then, and I um just never really cared. <laughs> I mean they they don't they're not like aggravating to me. Uh, there there are suits. Some of there's some of these suits of all time. So like. Yeah, I'd be mad if I would pay five dollars for it too. But in this case, it went to charity, so it's fine. Yeah, write it off on your taxes. <laughs> five dollars <laughs> PlayStation Network check. <laughs> uh, Kazuma Kiryu DLC outfit for Like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii by signing up for Sega Newsletter. So you get an outfit. For Pirate Yakuza yeah. in Hawaii by signing up for the Sega's newsletter. No, I'm not going to sign up for Sega newsletter. Ew. That's disgusting. <laughs> what do they talk about in those things? I don't know, and I've signed up for it like five times. Because <laughs> <laughs> they keep giving away costumes and games for signing up like for it. Alex is like, but you don't understand. So you have to make I a new email? Them. Like, you have to re sign up? Uh, so a lot of the sign ups for the newsletters weren't connected. They were like, ah, oh, you got to re sign up. So I just kept using my emails. Oh, you can use the same email and yeah. sign up again? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I guess. That's wild. But why would you? Kind of wild. Yeah, why? I can't imagine signing up once, let alone four <laughs> yeah, times. Several times. Yeah. 
I mean, you do you, but damn. Um, Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics and Dreamcast Classics are delisting on Steam on December 6th. Alex put all of the games here. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not about to read this. It's over a page of games, and I don't think anybody really cares. Uh, if you do, you should for sure Google it, because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, but there are a bunch. Stop being delisted. Yeah, Sega Genesis Classics is going off of everything, everything. That's for sure. And um, then Nintendo and PlayStation just have the Genesis Classic collection being delisted, which is going to make that physical copy fight. Uh, Virtua Fighter 2 is getting removed from Xbox. Why? Because they, I don't know. I spent uh, but... I spent fifty bucks on the Sega Genesis controller from Nintendo. I used that thing once, so that tells you how much I. I, I actually just sold my Genesis. I still have my Genesis games, but I'm playing Sonic One on the Sega Mega Drive right now. Hmm. Uh, Sony president, COO, and CFO Hiroki Totoki says the PS5 Pro pricing has not had a negative impact and that it is aimed at hardcore users. Pre-orders are slightly stronger than PS4 Pro during the same period. Oh, so they're on Copium right now. Mm Mm-hmm. That's what this sounds yeah, like. Yeah, Sakurai me. bought one, guys. So that means it's fine. Yeah, I saw a couple of videos go up on YouTube of like reviews, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that thing came out." Uh, let's see. Stellar... Someone posted on Twitter that you can uh change the PS5 Pro has an exclusive theme for the little. Uh, welcome screen that has the PS5's something, whatever the new part it's got in. And when they posted that, I was like, you can change the theme? Hmm. Uh, the answer is yes. I'm so I, because I went and looked at it. I switched it to Astro. That's a good choice. There we go. But that shows how much they promoted it because I had no idea you could change the theme of that page. Yeah. At least with Nintendo's, you know that there are themes because everyone continues to bitch about the fact that they uh, haven't given us any options for it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Nintendo. Maybe Switch 2 will have themes. No. Doubt. Maybe Switch 2 will exist. That'd be cool. <laughs> also <laughs> doubt. <laughs> uh, Stellar Blades um, near Automata DLC photo mode launched November 20th. I think it's free. Photo Is mode better be part- free. They better not be charging <laughs> for photo mode. <laughs> Uh, Square Enix stock price plummets. Operating income drops 27% from July to September. What's going on at Square Enix? Well, what did they release in that time frame? Uh, I don't know. Something, maybe? Exactly. Final Fantasy released in February. And Dragon Quest releases next month. With the uh, issue 2D? or Yeah. Dude, peak. All right, that releases. Oh no, it releases in three days. My bad. Mm. Oh, crazy. 
So obviously Cooper hasn't bought it, even though he's been hyping it up. <laughs> oh no, full price? No. I'll wait for it to go on sale. <laughs> That's crazy. Cooper, you won't even buy it when it goes on sale. Let's be real. You're right. Dang. I should have made that, you, I I, made that I your you Christmas gift. To... I thought you were going to buy it, so I had to think of other things. Oh. Uh, oops. I, like, I, I know I, I know you well enough, Coop. I know you ain't about to get that. Nah. Uh, I'll get it at some point. Mm-hmm. 20 years from now. <laughs> Halo 2 E3 2003 demo releases on Steam. I already tried to download it. I have to own the game. Halo. Oh, you have to own Halo 2? Yeah. On Steam. Yeah, I thought it would be like a demo thing that you could just like download it. And I was like, oh, I'll just add that to my library. And they're like, no, you got to own the game. It's kind of silly, but okay. That is actually. I mean, it is ten dollars, and that's full price. Oh no, you have to own the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, I own Master Chief Collection. Uh, you can get, get your E three demo. I'm that okay, is forty dollars full price. But Halo 2 by itself is just 10 bucks if you just want Halo 2. I'm okay, thank I you. do think it's cool that they released the E3 demo. Yeah. Yeah. The only Halo I ever really cared about playing was Reach, and I already played it, so don't really care anymore. <laughs> Real. Crazy. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 dev says Game Pass helped convince people who were on the fence to try the game, but now the challenge is to convince them to stick around. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. what the indie devs have been saying for years. Like, that's crazy. Uh, Ubisoft sued for shutting down the crew. Oh boy, we might have we're this doing before. this again. Yeah. Well, he was going to try to be sued or something. He had to get petitions. He was thinking about it. Something like that. It was kind of like on he the verge. He was thinking about it. Yeah. Because I was like, or something when I read in this... France too. Oh, we've talked yeah, about this. I read this time. headline and I was like, that sounds we familiar. covered this before. But it said new. So I was like, maybe we need something similar. But I did think it was the crew. I don't remember ever talking about this before, so. Yeah. Do you remember what we talked about during this week on the show? <laughs> what did you eat for What did you eat for lunch today? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Nintendo Music added Wii Sports music. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Let's see go. This. this week's drip feed. Yeah. Oh, it is weekly. Okay, so we'll get 52 yeah, very soundtracks weekly. a year. No, 52 games worth of soundtracks. Yeah. Maybe. If they include all of them. No, no, I'm confident in us. Platoon 3 still doesn't have its full soundtrack. But are the songs it missing from Splatoon 1 and 2? Uh, there's songs missing from, uh, the Grand Festival. Okay. So, like... You can extend the main menu theme to an hour. Hell yeah. But not the title theme, the main menu theme, the one that's just like... <laughs> Assuming you can get in. Oh, uh, there's a, a whole playlist just for training. That's funny. That's cool. I like how their top tracks are... Uh, uh, the entire soundtrack and... is 30 minutes. So. That's great. Somebody went in and made it 60 minutes from one minute each. 
Sweet. Um, have you guys been using yeah. that app? Uh, a little. Or why? Yeah. Not really. It. I didn't think I would at all, but I actually have used it multiple times now. It's pretty weird. It I've not used more... it. It needs yeah, more. I don't know why downloaded. But I I did use it to get. Hmm. Uh, the Amiibo songs, so I can use them in the video. All right, uh, old but still interesting tidbit of the week. Due to the this is from Cameron. Yeah, this one's been sitting on the backlog for a while, I think. Due to the various iterations, the arcade shooter Dark Ride, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin at Disney World, was very briefly one of only the two rides at all six Disney resorts, the other being Dumbo the Flying Elephant. This ended yeah. shortly after Shanghai Disneyland opened with the retheme to Ant-Man and the Wasp Nana Battles. Interesting. Yeah, figured since we had oh. you know, proper theme park news, uh, I should include it finally. Did you not put it on the thing? Because I had to move it up onto... No, I'm lazy. Me too. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, wild. What do you mean by one of two rides? So, like at the resorts? Yeah. There are only so there are six parks around the world, and there's well, only six, been two six rides resorts around the world. Mm-hmm. But there's only resorts. been two rides that all of them had, because not so like uh, take Haunted Mansion for example. Yeah. Not every resort has their own version of Haunted Mansion. I think most of them do, but not every. Oh, so you're saying like copy paste? No, No, like Pirates and Haunted Mansion. There's a version at almost every single, like at Disney World and Disneyland and Disneyland Paris. But like one of them doesn't have, one of the six doesn't have it, or two of the six. I got you. But all six around the world have had Dumbo the Flying Elephant and Buzz Lightyear. And now Ant Man. No, not no. Brother. <laughs> Cooper did not listen at all. <laughs> uh, Checks out. But that's uh, getting further away, anyways, because Tokyo Japan oh. or uh, Disney it. Japan just uh, changed their uh, version of Astro Blasters into. Or they're actively working on changing it into a Wreck-It Ralph ride. Oh, oh! So you're saying Dumbo got changed? I got you. I understand now. I'm a little slow. No, Dumbo did not get changed. Dumbo is trolling you, brother. Who would do? It's Cooper. He could. He could actually be thinking that though. Wait, wait, wait. Like, so who who wait? What they retheme? They said open with the retheme to Ant Man and the Wasp. From what? Dumbo. The way you wrote no. it. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I guess. No, it might have been Cameron's bad because he read this one. Can, can, Get him, can, Cooper. Cameron, you're bad English. Okay, so who did they retheme from? Buzz Lightyear, Buzz right? Lightyear, Astro. Yeah. The only oh. other ride listed. Oh, so Dumbo, they still all share. Yes. Okay. You confused me. Uh, that feels pretty easy to do, Coop. It's it's actually, yeah, not that hard. Surprisingly Crazy. easy, rarely an inconvenience. Yeah. Uh, On to the rumors. Analysts say Nintendo Switch 2 announcement is now unlikely before the end of 2024. Who the hell are these analysts? I really wow. hope Nintendo makes all these analysts wrong. It'd be funny. Yeah, but like... It's a, it's now unlikely. Yeah, that's amazing. They're not going to announce it right before Christmas? That's crazy. Yeah. 
I wish I I want I want this job. I want the analyst job because they're just wrong like all the fucking. They're time. just wrong, mm-hmm. dude. It's like being a weatherman. You can mm-hmm. not be wrong. No, it's I, like I, being a CEO. You can fall upwards. Yep. I'm in the wrong career, dude. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's what I've determined. Helldivers 2 Xbox port is not happening, according to Special Nick. Oh, no. Helldivers 2. Uh, we all kind of knew that already, though. Yeah. Well, kind of. That's so sad. No, but, I mean, we knew that there the wasn't Xbox be... fanboys believe that Microsoft has been porting all of their games to PlayStation, so... Um, PlayStation's obviously going to do the same. Sorry? That's silly. I have a coworker who's an Xbox fanboy, like, actual one. Because he asked me the other day, he's like, do you play games? I was like, yeah. He's like, what do you play on? I was like, Nintendo and PlayStation. And he went, ew. Fuck. Real. Nintendo. yeah it would have been funner if he beat the shit out of you after that (laughs) Uh, imagine playing on the uh, objectively worse (laughs) form of the three of this generation Uh, for the past decade three (laughs) yeah everything you could get over there you could play on playstation at least everything that you would actually play. He's probably really big into Game Pass. Thing. Game Pass is a pretty good deal. I don't know if uh, so much anymore. But no, because they're getting rid of all of like what they're like raising the price and getting rid of all the cheap the deals. Recently, yeah. It was for the longest time though. It was a really good deal. Yeah, like, to what, convince people gold, to. Right? To convince people to join. Yeah. But numbers go up if I raise prices. Numbers go up, guys. Numbers go up if you fire everybody. You could have the company's best quarter. (laughs) That's so true. Ignore the future quarters. True. True. It solves so many issues. Uh, Jez Corden says we might see an Xbox handheld revealed next year. Okay, I did want to talk about this. What do y'all think? I think it's dumb. I think that'd be... Uh, Xbox, though? They're trying to join a market that Nintendo's already dominated, and then Steam has already kind of done what Xbox would do in the market. Steam, yeah, I was about to say, Steam literally already has that, though, because it has, basically has everything Xbox would bring to the table. Plus, yeah, so is the handheld just a Steam Deck, but not? But not. A Steam so Deck, like, but with less. So like an ROG Ally, like a Windows handheld? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Um, but, what is, who is this supposed to be for? Xbox fanboys who want to play Game Pass on the go. Woo. I can see there being a market for it. It's niche. Uh and it's gonna flop depending on the price point, I think. And oh, the for feature sure. set because like you've got competition. So I don't know. I mean like If it's just a handheld with a really good integration integrated UI, it could sell. Um, it could, yeah. I mean, it could sell. I don't think it's good. No, it's not gonna like. It's not gonna get Steam Deck numbers, but no, it'll it'll get uh, Xbox and, and like they have all integrated with like Xbox Cloud and stuff. You know, it's no all... Japan's not gonna care. No, no, Xbox in Japan. How, how I don't does think the Steam that Deck do in my Japan? Sentence. I think it boosted Steam numbers just because they love portable things over there. 
That's what I. That's what I was. Because they bought the PlayStation Portal like crazy, which I guess is why Xbox is like, oh, we got to get on on that market, but they're like late, like they always are. True. Yeah, I mean, it literally could also just be a PlayStation Portal, but that's. Uh, I think that's kind of the least likely thing. Yeah, that would do horrible, I think. PlayStation Fair. Portal sold better than we thought, even though it's the Wii U gamepad. Um, but, like, I have problems with it because you have to stream games to it, right? You can't just download them. Correct. And- and you have to yeah. stream them from a PS5. You can't just stream them from like PlayStation Now. Yeah. I don't know. It could work. It's not going to be easy. We don't believe in it. Let's put it more like that. Yeah. Do we I, so here's my here's my thing. People are stupid enough that they will go. Uh, that if Microsoft actually goes through with this, people will go, where's Nintendo's handheld? Like, I guarantee it. Yeah. Um, From Jeff Keighley, a sequel to Hogwarts Legacy is now in production and is a, quote, very big priority. Game is planned to coordinate storylines with the upcoming Harry Potter HBO series. Now that will be interesting. Crossover? What the fuck does that mean? They've set over a hundred years apart. So it'll be it'll be canonical with that series. I don't know, man. Who cares? It's probably fake. Uh, Batman: Arkham Asylum remake reportedly in the works by Rocksteady. As someone who's played all the Batman Arkham games and really likes them, I don't care about the first one getting a remake. I'd like a new one. I think Origins could use a remake because it's not a modern console, but Asylum already is. But that's not the one that's going to make the most money. Yeah. No, remaking. Let's remake Asylum. We have no... I do, good idea. So we'll just remake the games we've already released. Yes. And we'll charge you seventy dollars for them. Correct. Um, Samus Hunter hints at new announcements related to Donkey Kong and Zelda coming in the winter. Well, we got a Donkey Kong announcement today. Yeah. So, um, and also Donkey Kong Country Returns comes out. In January, I think January fifteenth. Yeah, they announced that like for today $60. or yesterday for sixty dollars. Right. Why can it have been? Remember that thing I had on the sheet that was like, "Hey, come back to this if it's not sixty dollars." And Grant eat his words, and I didn't have to eat my words. Oh man! You even changed it to be, "Haha, I don't have to eat my words." Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, also, I, when I read this at first, I was like, damn, didn't Echoes of Wisdom just come out? And then I realized there, we've had a Zelda game almost every year. John did a video on this. Oh, on Scott Stash? Yeah. yeah. Um... Where yeah, he was like, like, like people find it a bit weird, but they're kind of right, but they're also kind of wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, they call it every year. It's not every year. It's just almost every year. But it is, it is a almost lot. every year. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to be fair, uh, they all are really fucking good, but still, it is uh, almost every year. So to hear like oh, oh I forgot I guess I should mention this but I don't I want to get that stuff. There's a Russian you uh, realtor that has leaked things before. 
and Wind Waker HD showed up on that. I hope so. I can finally get rid of my Wii U. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep it, but I'll likely never land. play the game. That's the only thing I need. I don't care about Nintendo Land. I only care about uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. True. It's the last thing I'm waiting on to leave that platform. Box it up. Collectors. Uh, well, no, I've got to leave the plugged in or else it's going to die. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah, cool feature. Sure. Love that. <laughs> uh, fans have noticed on Nintendo's new infographic that there appears to be an English box cover for the Famicom Detective Club remakes, which only got physical releases in Japan. Ooh, physical edition of FDC. Yeah. So, Emio got one. They might be like, oh, let's just do it. They do it, I'll have to get it. Yeah, uh, we you are coming. Huh? Uh, what? What? The pressure of buying the thingy, dude. I always succumb to the pressure of buying the thing. Yeah, that's weak. Is you have to hold out. No show, show, show your mental fortitude. How little have you have. No, I have yeah, no I mental fortitude, sir. <laughs> I'm I a Nintendo no fan. Fortitude. Maybe it's because I'm not a, not as big of a Nintendo fan. Maybe that's why I have mental fortitude. Who knows? Don't you mostly play on Steam? Yeah. Doesn't say the amount of Steam points you have. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different. Uh, he's one of those guys. He buys one a lot of games that... on the Steam Summer thing on Steam. At one time, I had like four hundred and fifty thousand points, <laughs> which is like forty five hundred bucks. <laughs> And what? That's crazy. Steam, Steam points. points. Oh my god. Like Steam reward points. <laughs> but I've also had my I've also had my Steam account since I was like twelve. So it's been a long time and I, I did mean, not know what the fuck points were until like sometime last year. So <laughs> to be fair, I think the rest of us have Yeah, but Steam points are only something uh, recent. I was gonna say they're semi recent. Mm, no, because I I have steam points from like a lot. I I was getting steam points like a long time ago. Basically, like since I've had my account, I've been getting like I, it'll show up after purchase and be like, you just got X amount of steam points. Blah 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 blah. blah. I'm like, oh, that's great. I have no fucking clue what those are. Hmm. How do you even check your steam points? It's on the it's store, and it's like a point mm -hmm. shop. Yeah, I've linked it. Let's see. It started okay. It started in June 2020, so four years. That's a that's a band a year, Kyle. Damn. Damn. Uh, I think your math might be a little off. Yeah, I hope. Then I, I think, hope. Then, then I don't think that the number was correct. The math is not uh, off. The number was correct. I have forty four thousand steam that it, points. I was say I know that every one thousand steam points you have is one hundred dollars. I have. Yeah. I'm not logged in. So I've spent like forty four hundred dollars. Yeah, every dollar. I have six thousand, so. and I've bought a lot in the steam point shop. So that six thousand is. Oh, every dollar is a hundred points. Yeah. yeah. Every dollar. Yeah. Oh, okay, then that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. Nah. I thought that's it was every dollar was 000. 10 points. No. I don't imagine. Like Chick-fil-A. I was worried, bro. Uh... Xbox wins marketing rights for the Max Payne remakes and will be shown at the Game I mean, Awards. I still have currently three hundred dollars worth of points on my Steam points. What is the? It's not great, but you know. What are the max paid games? games? I feel like I've heard of. Them. Let me see your history. 
I honestly don't know. I've really missed out on the Max Payne series. It's a neo-noir third-person shooter video game series. Developed by Remedy Entertainment and Rockstar Studios. The series is named after its protagonist, Max Payne, a New York City police detective turned vigilante after his family was murdered by drug addicts. That does pretty sound standard. good noir set, you know. Sounds kind of like standard protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Daniel RPK, if Sonic Movie 3 does well enough, the Shadow spinoff will be a movie. They also apparently have big plans for Silver. So they're just going to keep making Sonic games. Movies. Forever. Sonic movies, yeah. I guess games too, yeah. unfortunately. I really wish they'd stop. What do you mean, Gen Shadow Generations is amazing? Impossible. No. That's hilarious. Play it. It's actually good. Uh, finishing topic this week, based on the article from Joshua Wolins from PC Gamer. Quote, I tracked down the guy who gave a negative review to Battles of 98 Redo after playing for over 8,000 hours and came away convinced that he was right. Uh, by Joshua Woolens. Interesting. Uh, so, are there any games that you have put a ton of hours into that you would review negatively? Apex Legends. I knew that was going to be your answer. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. Hundreds of hours. Honestly, my two top games on Steam for a while were Destiny 2 and Smite, and both of them I would not really recommend. Yeah. Definitely same with Apex for sure. And Apex, yeah, Apex is like, if I look at my top games and I regret playing it, which is literally only Smite, Destiny, Apex, and it used to be Brawlhalla, but Brawlhalla, thank God, is not in my top ten anymore. Um, <laughs> then it's a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have hundreds of hours in games. That I don't Enjoy. regret playing because I yeah if I I feel like I would have given it up early. I guess a high number is I've got ninety hours in PUBG, and I'd probably renew you that negatively. Uh, and then yeah, Apex like, is like eighty. Let's see. Um, didn't Apex move launchers? Yes. Uh, I think they um, still have their own launcher if you want to use it, but it is on the Steam EA now. launcher. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what um, my hour. I have no idea how much I have. Cooper, why did you, why have you played Apex recently? Oh, they said Apex OG. They brought back the like old Apex. It's what they said. I was like, okay, let me see. I launched it up. It is not like the old Apex. I was like, all right, uninstall. I was on it for like <laughs> all two minutes. I was like, this is terrible. This is, this you took the time to reinstall it. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you were busy. You were busy. Um, <laughs> you've been busy all happens. week, and you've clearly see, been doing see shit. What see what happens when you're gone for a week, Cal. See what happens when you're gone for a week. Okay, yeah, buddy. I, what do you do when, when I'm gone? We'll wait for you to get back, <laughs> reinstall Apex Legends, and then uninstall it again. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have other things Look, to do, Coop. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I, I, like I, Donkey's video. Let's see how many times we can install and uninstall. Uh, Animal well while we wait to play Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Apex is definitely on there. I would, I would review yeah. that negatively. Like um, top ten Steam games. Wait, how did you get that? Uh, you, you go, go to, to your, your page profile. You go yeah, to that's you how you go into your library and look at it, too. and it will rank it by amount of time. Ah, uh, Cooper, yeah. you should review. You don't even have to be in your profile. You can just go to your library, and it'll have an option. It literally is the natural yeah. option to rank it yeah. by playtime. Yeah, it's automatically by time. Wait, what? What else? Three hundred hours in Among Us, negative. <laughs> no, you know Cooper could never say anything negative about Among Us. Bro. He loves I'm that game. Fifty hours in multiverses, though, negative. 
Oh, I could definitely oh, no, think absolutely. negative yeah, shit about negative. multiverses. You beat okay. Coin Game I completely? Coin Game's fun. Coin Game's fun. Like, I would not recommend it to anybody to 100% it, because, like, the 100 days literally takes several hours. reason why I have 80 hours in the game, but, like, it's pretty decent. If they add multiplayer, you, it'd be fun. Can't you uh, not, like, you have to actually play the full survival mode for yeah. the 100 days? Yeah, like yeah. You, get... you can't skip days or nothing. You have to play the survival mode. You gotta like play it correctly. Oh no, I, I, you, there's a, there's a glitch at the time when I did it. You go to the, uh, where you deposit, in, like a place where you can get money by selling items. You, like, oh, is this where you put the one item and then take it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. it's like you hit the button real quick and take out the expensive item. Right. Or you put it in and take it out. Something like that. And, like, basically just duplicate the item a thousand times. And then just keeps duplicating it. And, like, it was crazy. I don't know. It's been, like, a year since I played it, though. So, But it was, that, that mm-hmm. one's decent. I would recommend it. I wouldn't recommend completing it, but I wouldn't recommend playing it. The yeah, only... I saw a YouTuber do that glitch. Where he'd take, like, because you had to put something. So he put the $5 candy that's sitting right there. And then he'd have his item that would be worth a lot. And he just kept making bang. Oh, yeah. So, Steam-wise, the only game that I have over 100 hours in that I would recommend is Tabletop Simulator. Uh, Dang, yeah, I see PUBG. I, I don't know if I would say... I don't know if I would review Rocket League negatively, but I, I would not say Rocket. But that's just because of personal preference. I don't like mm-hmm. Rocket League, so I would review it negatively. Our Steam uh, libraries are very different. From them. They're very vast. Yeah. Is, yeah. Let's see. Brawlhalla negative. You negative. Kind of. I look. I like Duel Links because you I would like ne- you would Brawl, like, you would review Brawlhalla negatively. It just I would definitely it's review very, Brawlhalla negatively. It's very competitive. Like if you're playing with friends, it's pretty decent. But it's I guess that's the thing. Else, I always play it not, friends. Yeah, with friends, it's pretty decent. Like it's not if we're it's a free fighting game with friends. That's fun. But online, not recommended. I you. you oh, what's up? So. Even with friends, whenever you're friends with someone who spams Orion <clears throat> Cooper, it still sucks. <laughs> okay. What? No. What? I have no. learned combos and stuff with Orion, though, so it's actually kind of like decent. Um. And not just. Heavy so spam. more like, than just save. Steam, though. What? Like. I don't know. Other so. Games. I I don't want to say I would review it negatively, but now that Splatoon 3 is over, I think adding a battle pass is what caused all the sweats. Sounds about right. There. Because I, you know, we played, what, every likely, Splatfest? We, we played every Splatfest in Splatoon 2. Basically, as a group, right? I think there was like a Pretty few, much, there's a few that uh, somebody had to dip out on. But like almost every Splatfest we played as a group in Splatoon 2. And I wasn't playing as often. Y'all weren't, uh, you know, n- none of us were like playing consistently. And we did not have nearly the trouble during Splatfest that we did when we were uh, playing Splatoon 3. Especially after uh, y'all stopped playing until there was a splat fest, you know. Like Grant, I mean, Grant took several months off at a time, you know. You're lying, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah. you didn't come and join us. Grant did. Yeah, well, and I still wasn't going to. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a fan. <laughs> I think. I will say I don't think I could recommend playing 
the online aspect of Splatoon 3 now just because it is all sweats, like I mentioned earlier with uh, Overwork. Because I mean, how how do you how the hell do you get someone to play you know that's brand new when people are getting almost uh when the top percentile requires you to get three hundred in Grisco like it's just not it's not feasible no Um, I don't really think I have any other games besides Apex because usually, if a game, if, if I, I play a game and I don't like it, I stop. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Like I have hundreds of hours in several games, but I but like both the of, games I have. All three of my top thing, like all three of the top games that I said, Smite, Destiny, Apex. Even Brawlhalla. So I guess the top, the the four games top that I would four. say, yeah, the four games I would say, are all games that I pretty much only played because I had friends that were playing them, and they were like, yeah. oh, we're gonna play this game, and we're gonna play it every single day for the next like seven months, and if you don't play with us, then we are not gonna play any games with us because these are the only games we're gonna play, and so I just had to suck it up and play so that I could actually play with my friends. Yep, I get that. And uh, that that's how I ended up with 582 hours in Smite, 580.5 hours in Destiny, 181.5 hours in Apex, and 75.5 hours in Brawlhalla. And the worst thing is, if you yeah, join the calls when they're playing uh, games, Something. and you're like, I don't want to play, all the conversations always that game, the game, yeah, oriented to whatever the game. Mm-hmm. Especially a game like Apex, like you, you had to be like focused pretty much the whole time. So I you think, can't really, I mean, like even enjoy side conversations. Really. I think that's why we enjoyed Splatoon two so much as a free from Apex, is that we could just say whatever Talk. the hell we yeah. wanted you didn't because really it focus. didn't matter. Like yeah, yeah, there were times that we locked in, but like otherwise, you know, it was just, it's just like, okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna spend the no, next two hours talking our... about you know fees or whatever. Even Things that shall not be in. reset. Re- reset. <laughs> <laughs> Things that uh, Things that don't need to be for. discussed. We want to get arrested. But like, um, just like, even when we would lock in on Splatoon, we could still have stupid conversations. And you couldn't really do that for Apex games like that. Why well, don't play them a lot i feel like i feel like out of everyone i've played them the least yeah yeah alex doesn't do as many multiplayer as the rest of us uh any other games before we close it out here um i think i've said all of mine arc survival evolved I mean, I only have 40 hours in it, but like... No, okay, I actually like ARK, though. No. No. ARK is way too much storage space for what it is, but it's a fun game. I don't want to play that uh, with friends. That was... Huh? How do you have 47 hours in Duck Game, bro? I like Duck Game, but I only have seven. I... That was one of those games that uh, DVG played, and I did not, uh, you know, I wanted to play. Real. That uh, if it's a multiplayer game, I, I, yeah, I ain't playing it alone, that's for sure. <laughs> not true. Let's see. Uh, so if mine, like, Apex had 400 hours, no. Brawlhalla had 300, no. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I will say, it's kind of like Fire Emblem Heroes, where it's like, if you didn't play at the beginning don't play now because it's literally if you don't spend money you can't enjoy it i play since the beginning so like I'll, I'll, i'm like it's okay but basically it's pay to win at this point if you start today so yeah probably knowing that among us i mean it's peak let's see labyrinthine that, that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way <laughs> all right stop going to your games before people look oh. 
Yeah, <laughs> the Labyrinthine is also a good one. I'm glad to have a lot of hours in that one. Rogue Company, not really. Yeah, Labyrinthine is great. Are you just going to read your entire library right now? No, I'm just going to do the top 10 real quick. Deep Dark Galactic, good one. You go Masterful. Also, kind of like Duel Links. I feel kinda, like I have that. Yeah. yeah, Rogue Company, we played it for a little while. It was the free one. Um, Master Duel is kind of like Duel Links. Uh, Over, the question is, one. what don't you like? Not, oh, what don't <laughs> what I like? are my yeah. time? It, what would well, you rank? Yeah, you're like, like, I, I like, like this game, I like this game, I like this game. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Apex bad, Rahala bad, you go doing bad. Oh, players, Rogue Company. company. Oh, Rogue shit. Company. I forgot bad. about that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Legit. I wouldn't say it's bad. bad. It's just not. I wouldn't play versus, it. Multiverse is really it, bad. It's not bad, yeah. but it's not good. Multiverse yeah, used to be good, and now it sucks. Dude, if it was the beta, Multiverse, I think, would be like the top like free platformer fighter. But then they kind of threw it in the trash, so. Never mind, I guess. They were changing things during the beta. The changes during the beta were okay. They got rid of the cop car because of horrible memes. They got rid of what? Velma calling the cop. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Which was probably for the best, but like... They were changing things during the beta just based on people's reactions. That's true. All right, well, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you so much yeah. for listening. We hope you enjoyed. Please share us with a friend. We post every Wednesday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube.com, slash Stormwind Games. Anywhere that you get your podcast, you can find us. Add us on Twitter at All Night Gamers with a K. Uh, let us know. Did you get Mario and Luigi Brothership? What do you think about it? What do you think about the new Super Nintendo World stuff? Um, and what's a game that you put a ton of hours into that you would review negatively? Be sure to let us know, and we'll be back here next week, as always, for more gaming news, talk, and discussion. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.